Okay, today we're going to do a quick install of the Tor browser on Kali Linux 2020. And it's a little different than the GNOME version where you had to make a guest user because the Tor browser wouldn't run as root. And the old version, the default login was root. So this one, in 2020, your user is not logged in as root but you can escalate the privileges to root, which is what we're going to do to get the install going. You also want to make sure that you have your sources.list correct. So you want to, you know, let's go to a root terminal. I'm in root now. Clear the screen so you can see better. Let's see if I can make this a little larger for you. Okay, then you want to change the directory to cd slash etsy slash apt nano sources. It's sources, not source, dot list. And that's all you should have in there. And it should look like that. It should be colorful just like that is. And it should be exactly that. Anything else that's, even if it's remarked out, remove it. You get a nice clean sources.list. Even though there's a number sign in front of something and it looks blue and it's, let's see, it looks like, you know, that. It turns blue. Uh, if it's not supposed to be in there, get it out of there. This needs to be in there. And you see how it changes color? Even though it's remarked out, I've seen it cause problems. So we're going to close out of this. So the sources.list is correct. Now you want to make sure you're up to date. Because if you're not up to date, this is going to give you an error saying it can't find the file or do something. In, in, or there's there's a candidate available or some error like that. Um, I'm up to date, so I'm not going to get that error. And if you seen in the past, you know, usually you would download it from the Tor project. Um for the Tor browser, and this is completely different from the Tor service, which we had a previous video, but this is just the browser. Again, you want to make sure you're up to date, so you want to do like app-get update, app-get upgrade. Minus Y so that I don't have to answer any questions. And if you're up to date, when it checks, it should be zero, zero, zero there. And if you want to make sure that you got the latest distribution, you do apt dash get D I S T dash U P G R A D E. And if that's at zero, there's no updates, there's nothing for you to do. So clear the screen. Now you can install the Tor browser. Um, if you download it directly from Kali's site and you try to open it, it's going to show you a text file with all kinds of commands and things like that for you to do and make it an executable. And it's just too much work. And that's why I'm doing this video. You just do apt dash cache search Tor. be helpful if I could type it right. And what you're looking for is the Tor Browser Launcher. And it's alphabetical, so I just got to get down to T here. Let's see if we can shorten this. There it is. 
Duh. Okay. So this is exactly what you want to install. Okay. So. I'm just going to copy it so I don't have to type that. Control Shift C to copy when you're in the terminal and Control Shift V to paste when you're in the terminal. Clear the screen. And it's going to do it for you. It's going to set it up. You're not going to have to go looking how to do commands and make things executable. And let's see if we have the Tor browser. So we're going to go up to our programs here and just type in Tor. And there's the Tor browser and Tor browser settings all done for you. So you're going to click on Tor browser. It's going to download a little bit. Let me get this out of the way so you can see it. It's going to grab the latest version from their site. Make sure you don't have any other browsers open when you do this. Uh, make sure you've changed your DNS so that your ISP's DNS doesn't give you away. Now, unless you're in a country that blocks Tor, all you have to do is hit connect. Browser should start up. It, it'll be up to date. It'll be the latest version. You didn't have to make any executable files. Um, let's try dnsleaktest.com. See what country we would pop out in. And it's not fast. Okay, I can tell you right now that's not the United States right there. And um, let's see if we can figure out what country we ended up in. What is my IP? And we're in Amsterdam, but we're not, are we? At least I'm not. Okay, that's it for installing the Tor browser. Um, you should practice, you know, being careful. Don't give out any good information about you yourself. Um, and watch what you click on. Uh, you know, if you don't need it, don't click on it. And, don't give out credit card numbers or anything like that. And you should be all right. But this is how you uh, use the Tor servers to pop out somewhere else besides your own country and ISP. So enjoy.